Well, thank you for finally saying something. One sec. Yeah, we still need that car part. Red going to be just one of these like random addicts to walk around. See if any of these random looking addicts have a slightly different description or something. Something that indicates that they are red. Could it just be this dude? Is Bobby's dad? Let's talk to him again. Push map, Bobby's cleared out. Hold oh, no. I don't think it is. Him. here.
Let me talk to you about it. You've here. got it, friend. What no, you never mind. need? Why aren't you using your submachine gun? Use the best weapon. Keep your distance. What distance from you me. need us at? Spread out. No problem. That's it. So now they, these random addicts, are body blocking me from leaving this building. But Sulik is body blocking them from leaving the doorway to clear it for me. I don't want to have to just open fire on these people, but unless they move or something. without repercussions. Uh, oh, maybe if we just make time pass. Wait until morning. Please move, people. So look. Get out of the frickin' doorway. to reload I think. Let's see if we can attack an addict. Just like kick one of them. Oh my. <laughs> okay. Okay, I think that's sufficient. So look, get inside the frickin' building. What you be needing? What distance you need us at? We be here if you need us. Come on, Sulik. Come inside so I can leave. Sorry, Attic. Well, that was um a thing that happened, so... Yeah, 
guess I guess we're lucky no one does seem to care. What's that doing to um our karma? I'm accepted at the damage. I don't think it really did. Customer, are you Fred? No. Are you Fred? How about you, slave? Are you Fred? the glum face oh okay we've talked to this lady before the cat like yeah we'll just go through a dialogue real quick yeah I'd, I'd love to sure big cats uh yeah that's scary Wow, I gained a level from just hearing about the sad story of her cat. And what is your story, dude? Uh, well... I guess it's real great, except for the slavers and the addicts everywhere. And yo, know, the entire place. But um, looking for Fred. I can't find him. Oh, she give me free food. Okay. I swear I've looked ever, but on the on the west side, I swear I looked everywhere. Uh, we have no more ghosts though. I freed the ghost from existence and buried her body. Like, he's not just one of these, like, random addicts, right? Let's just poke everyone. Addicts. Addicts. Talk to this dude because he has a name. I guess if we already know his name, then we probably have already talked to him. But... Here, Petey. Who are you, though? Many of these random people. I don't know if I actually clicked on every single one of these. 
Hopefully it's not the one that attached me when I went into the town. behind this house. Ah, oh, that's a lady. I, mean, I guess a lady could be Fred. So yeah, because they all look the same, I don't know if I actually tried talking to every single one of these. This is an open den. <laughs> he didn't wander into Becky's. Customer. Damn, the citizen of the den. Oh, you, Fred was right here in front of Becky? Maybe he came here to pay it of his own volition. Uh, yo, dude. I need some money. What are you talking about? I don't know anyone anything. Who the hell are you talking about? I somehow know that you're Fred, even though you're identical to all the other addicts. Becky says. Wait, what did Becky say that he owed? Um. I don't know what the actual. What is the honest answer? Let's just say 200. She told me to break your neck if you don't pay. Right, right, that'll be the day. Becky wouldn't hurt a fly. She sure is pretty, though. Oh. Well, you're wrong. <laughs> okay, so that didn't accomplish a whole lot. Uh, where is he at? Customer. Wait. With a sharp eye and a business edge. We'll talk to her in a sec. It's still that money, dude. Hand it over. Okay, now he's totally amenable to it. Damn, I think you're right. But I'm almost broke. I can't afford that kind of money. I've got to eat, you know. Sorry, man. Oh damn it, I can barely afford a hundred dollars. Could you spot me half? I promise I'll pay you back. I know we have tons of money. Sure thing, dude. What really? Oh, wow, you're you're quite a sucker. Thanks a lot. Here's a hundred bucks. Get the other hundred. I'll get the other hundred to you as soon as possible. Yeah, no problem, dude. So you know what? That hundred's really gonna delay things. Do you think I could borrow a little bit back? Really? Really? Mm. Really? This seems so stupid. I'm just getting scammed. We will let him enact his master plan then. Sure, it isn't a whole lot to us, so. Okay, Becky. Got that job. Here's the money. Well, I can't believe how you did it. I'm just stunned, that's all. To show my appreciation, I'll split it with you right down the middle. Oh, okay. So really, we're only out 50 bucks, and theoretically, 
He'll pay us back 150? Is that the case? Maybe? I mean, making just $100 isn't super exciting, but... Oh, okay, this is just the deal. He never gets a name. She's always just a woman with a sharp eye. Uh, yes, it is with the restoration project because I was crashing non-stop without it. Uh, and a viewer suggested that I, I use it, which made me have to start a new game, which was fantastic. Um, there were a bunch of pocket picking kids though in front of like all of the doorways um maybe they're gone though because i opened the orphanage they're probably all in the orphanage now uh, so now we did fred what else do we have here besides today problem is, I'll, I'll go back to Klamath and look again, but I have no idea where Vic's radio is. It's just gone missing. Oh, okay, I, I did not know that. That's what sucks about not um, getting very far into the original. I don't actually know what is original content and what is mod content. So we went down to Redding, but we're like way too weak to do it in there. Do I wish to encounter some farmers? Like to fight the farmers? Sure. Or am I just saying hello to farmers? You just keep your hands where I can see them. We've been plagued by bandits lately, and I think you might just be one of them. What do you want? I just want to trade, dude. Money. Well, he has nothing to trade. Here's a fruit. He can't even afford a fruit. <laughs> what is rot gut? I don't even know. I need to read that book still. Here, can you afford this? Here's a Nuka Cola farmer. There, I'm glad that we stopped and talked to these farmers. Yeah, I knew that there was something wrong when we got there and the uh, sheriff was like, You're too low level, fella. I think we did do something there. No, no, we haven't yet. I did try and fight the Wanamingos. They, uh, they totally wrecked me. Wait, what's this? There's nothing, nothing on the floor in here. There's a locked door that I can't open. There's no Vix radio anywhere. So unless it's behind this locked door, which it'll be ages before I can open. I wish. Is the radio behind that door? If so, that sucks. Can you make Molotovs as they're crafting? Probably not. Oh, I need to read that Gums and Bullets. I keep on forgetting it. Let's see if this guy will sell me a 
bumping explosives. Beer booze. Uh, do you want this garbage, dude? I guess we could sell these fruits. I don't think they serve any purpose. I'll, I'll keep two fruits. Here's a fruit. I think that they just sell beef jerky, but I'll see if they sell some Molotovs or something explosive. What do you got, buddy? Nothing good. Uh, I don't even know who Myron is. So, yeah. I suppose he is a bit further along. I don't mind creeps, though. If I can stand having Sulik in my party, I can manage anyone, I think. Let's see, maybe, maybe... I need to see what this is. Maybe it's something good. Maybe they stole Vic's radio. Another locked door, my nemesis. Well, I guess I did just level up. Let's maybe put points into lock picking. Take thief. I don't know if Swift Learner is actually worth it. We did already take a level of it. Well, intelligence is pretty good. I don't think we need Smooth Talker. This would be very useful for... Uh, I think I'll try and stay with Melee. I went through the entire first game doing unarmed. But, um... That was pretty hard. So hopefully Melee is easier than unarmed, but... Is good. Especially for those times when, like, I hit something and it knocks them away, which sucks. for now. I'm going to increase my lock picking, and if I still can't get that door open, then maybe I'll just take Thief, because I want to I wanna get that door open. Let's make it 35. Let's see if we can, well, let's see if we can open this door.
I'm gonna take that as a no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did with the first file as well. Figured it would be a lot harder, but but it sounded fun. The stupid one-handed and sex appeal thing uh, made me chuckle. So. I think my lockpicking still sucks. Can I even get my lockpicking to the point where I could open that door? This is a test. I can always reload. Yes, yes. Um, rat tunnel done. Everything here is done. Um, well, at least these four things. If there's more things, I don't know about them yet. Yeah, I did want to be like a charismatic -y person. Okay, so that did open door. It is Vix Radio in here. If it isn't, I'm reloading. Okay, it is. So we did just blow a ton of points on lock picking, which feels pretty bad. But that'll probably come in handy at other points. And we still have to uh, pick that um, perk, so. Hopefully I won't need... Hopefully I won't need to open that door ever. <laughs> So we have the radio, let's go give it to Vic. Oh no, 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 no. Golden Gecko is still sort of wrecked me a little bit. We did clear the Toxic Cave, though. Well, I said I searched everywhere, but... This little, like, hut? Or you mean this, the, the one that all these people live in? One? I don't think I did actually loot people's bookshelves in here and stuff. Just because there were NPCs, I didn't want to didn't want to have them see me. This little tiny one? This. Get in there. Yeah, the footlocker. Bottom right. This? Oh, okay. I don't know. I want to look in this footlocker. We'll just remember there's some healing powders there for emergencies. Child, move out of this door. The children in this game make me want to just go on a child killing spree. I slam this door on her face. Goodbye. No, that didn't close it at all.
will the kids rat me out if they see me stealing? Uh, sure. I guess we're going to get some more guns and bullets. So maybe we will eventually be able to use a pistol or something as like an emergency weapon. Vic his radio. Chosen, the what? spirits of our ancestors guide me to a world of dreams that I may touch thoughts. Our village suffers without the holy Gek. Your hands hold our lives as a father holds his children. Uh, okay. You like the first game? What? On like a little little tent, Nancy. Uh, so is this on like um like a timer like the the first game? I guess. Except I don't have like a, a sticky note telling me how many days. Save in case they completely slay me. Luckily, they don't seem to have guns. Well, that feels so satisfying. This thing can just shred that dude. Okay, this isn't great because we can't move from here. Are they just going to kill me? Holy cow. Like, technically, I can move. Oh, I, I can't actually move. Okay, they are completely body blocking me. I have no choice but to heal. Oh, that is good to know. Um, okay, I did not know that. <laughs> oh my god, that stem back did nothing. Hell, sewer to me? Well, I probably can't now just because I. How do I tell Sulik to do things, though? I think I'm dead here and reload. Yeah. Wah, wah. Okay, let's give him a poke. And then move back. May now they won't all be able to me. I'd rather them surround Sulik because he has way more hit points than me. Please, Grampy Bone. 
<laughs> At this point, if I was one of these bandits, I think I would leave. <laughs> Why did he fall? He's critically hit and knocked. Okay. He was hit for 10 hit points with no armor. He has armor! really carrying me here. No! No, 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 no. We have to reload. I'm not letting Sulek die. Well, that was weird. Immediately as I loaded, they moved. That... The timeline has changed. So I need to tank some of these hits so Tulek doesn't die, but... It's weird, he has stim packs. I don't know why he didn't heal himself. He not only has stim packs, but I told him it's okay to heal yourself. Please survive this turn. No. No. <laughs> you have done. Okay, this, uh, maybe I should just run. Where's the boundary? It's actually quite far away. We have this jacketed dude on us. Let's just fight him. Okay, two of them are on us. That's fine. Sulik has three, I have two. Okay, or we're not, or I have three. I just realized I have my knife equipped in the second slot anymore. I need to equip my knife again. The lizard bro... The, the lizard bro that we eat before wants out now. What's that about? This, so I have 5 AP aim shot with this, and then the remaining 3 AP with that. Oh, I should have healed while I was in my inventory. Wild well, crap. Just don't, don't die this turn, please. Aside from the fact that I'm badly injured. Yeah, I'll try and loop around and get back to the tent area. I'll just kite them for now. <laughs> the sound effect.
that's fine. Why did he switch to a sledgehammer? He still should have ammo. Now if I just run from him, he's just going to run after them. And this is going to take forever now. I'm going to have to use up some stim packs. 12 per burst. Oh, I did not know that. Well then. Probably should have saved that for an encounter where it would have made more sense. Hopefully we can sell whatever loot they have. Yeah, I'm worried that if I run past them, that they will um, have enough AP left to get in, in an attack on me. Yeah, like I'm way too close now and they're just going to murder me. Oh my god, I got really lucky there. That would be very helpful. I haven't actually looked at any of this. Um, combat looks. There we go. Combat looks, combat taunts. Yeah, that looks good. Oh, that's so much better. Thank goodness. Is there actually a difference besides just the visual? Like, is there ever a time you would actually want to walk? Besides just now, RPing. Between running and walking. Oh, okay, yeah. That's true. I mean, if I, if I go into sneak mode... It's still going to always run. So I'll have to hold hold shift. Okay. Really, the always run should like be always run except when in sneak mode. But that sucks. <laughs> we might have to just heal at this point. Let's stop being a baby. Oh, okay. It's 
suppose it probably says that here. That's okay, toggle active items. Okay. Well, that's loot. Hope I can carry all of this. Oh, okay, those are just rocks. Really, bandits? They're growing their own crops. Like a uh, little homestead. Gila. We just camped out here for a couple of days. Oh, yeah, I guess. Um. Okay, we're in another little bandit camp. They have not attacked me yet. I should probably save. I'm very bad about not saving. So are these people going to attack me? Oh, they are. I thought maybe we met some friendly banditos. Nice to meet you. Oh, we missed. Oh. I'm probably going to forget B every every time. So this dude looks like the toughest. One hit point. Okay, awesome. And it critically missed and dropped his weapon. Oh, why am I getting wrecked here? Yeah, that always confused me, because it's not always that I get that bonus turn. There'll be times that we'll start the combat and I'm just like a little bit like farther away than I want to be from something. So I end the turn hoping that they'll move closer to me, and then just I get another turn. And so it ends up I just wasted that because, I don't know. I just can't, I don't know when I'm going to get a bonus turn or not. There's some sort of rhyme or reason to it. <laughs> I don't think it's even worth it fighting these guys. Oh, okay.
if I can sneak up behind these fellas. Wait. Yeah, this was good. I don't know why Sulek's in their tent, though. Weird. We did so well just doing Gorin shots against uh, Tyler and the guards at the den. That's looking very ineffective here. <laughs> to attack Sulek rather than me. I can go for the eyes this time. Oops. Thank goodness switching doesn't use AP. Let's just go for the head. Pretty good hit for one hit point. He's not dead, but he is unconscious. Gained five karma by litting the throat of an unconscious man. It was a bandit. Can my spear reach her? <laughs> God, are they going to kill Sulek? I might need to heal Sulek. How badly injured are you, my dude? Almost dead. I didn't mean to push him. Um, oh crap. Can I get to him with this? He's not dead. He's almost dead? Yes. Here, I'm just your stim pack buddy. So much damage to him. I guess we'll need to go now, I agree. Okay, I guess Sulek's gonna do what I did last time now. 
and he's just going to run away. He needs to bleed lizard. <laughs> um, can I throw this? Looks almost dead. Can't throw it. Very out of range. Don't go that far, Sulik. What is the range on this? It must be really, like, abysmally low. That's probably why then. Well, while Sulik is running away, maybe I'll just go loot this body and then I'll just leave. Are they killing him? Sulik was killed. Well, the moment I say that, Sulik was killed. Let's leave Sulik. How is he attacking me from all the way over there when they didn't attack me when I spawned just in the very middle of their base? Did just this one do? Did we not aggro the others? I just want to see what happened. Okay, no, we did. Get out of here. This guy seem tough. I think we're a bit too low level, maybe. What you be needing? So how you doing? I mean, you get better armor. Still has ammo. Damn it, Sulik. Whatever. I'll let him conserve it. Yeah, but I was close enough to the town, but figured we could easily make it here. <laughs> yeah, I think the problem is we probably went into that Sulik already injured. If he uses that much ammo, then I, I don't mind him not using it, so better to save that for like, not a random encounter, but for something that actually matters. Like if we did ever want to try and kill those slavers. Uh, which right now just looks like a death sentence, so not going to attack them now. But eventually, I would like to. Hey, how about this radio I found, Vic? That was it. Why are you keeping him here? Well, he's finally gotten that damn radio to work, but it doesn't mean I'm gonna let him off that easy.
Okay, thanks. Yeah, how about some money? Uh, a thousand bucks. It's like all of my money, dude. Can we talk, uh, make a deal? Uh, sure. Not above that. Oh, that. Okay, we still have to. Oh, okay. Yeah, why are you keeping him here? I understand. I'd already. Okay. Here. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, sure. I probably probably won't do it if it feels that like much like an exploit, but I am curious. I did, I did. I'm not spending a thousand bucks. I already slept. I slept with Joey earlier. That's just, I guess. I'm really into uh, just having some fun, even with horrible slaver dudes. Tell me where. Wait, come with me. Awesome. I just, I've got another party member. <laughs> Which means I have to equip him. What are you good at, my man? Or jet. Like, you can inject other people with jet? I guess it probably just works like a stem path. I guess that makes sense. Okay. That's really neat. Is that I haven't actually messed with any of the drugs in well, Fallout 1 or 2, so I actually have no idea how it works in these, in these games.
That sounds amazing. to get them uh some uses different ammo from each other so we just dump all of our 10 millimeter on one npc super stim pack murder I mean, that sounds fun too they walk so slowly Oh, so wait, what are we doing now? We have to go all the way to Vault City? The Sulek sisters probably somewhere in this back area. Yeah, I have no idea what a super stim pack murder is. I used a lot of super stim packs though in Fallout 1. Uh, I haven't found any in 2 yet. Does Tubby have enough money to buy these spears? Yeah, but wouldn't the healing always outweigh the damage that you take? Like, even if you give one to a fully healed NPC and then wait for him to take that damage, like, it's not a lot of damage. Oh, some of these spears are sharpened. I'll keep a sharpened spear. Let me go sort this out. Let's look at the difference between those spears. Give them multiple super stim packs at once. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. And it does a stack. We're using a sharpened spear now. Almost buy an armor. Yeah, I'll just give him the money for an armor. So we can give Vic some more survivability. Want anything else from him? He has nothing.
Becky's book? I didn't know whose book it was. Yeah, I'll talk to Becky to see if maybe that does something. Oh, let's get Becky's armor. I hate that you can't see the armor on them. Like, I like that I can give them armor and have them wear it. That sucked in Fallout 1. Um, campaigns in general sucked in Fallout 1. Like, you have so much more control now in this game, but I still wish I could, like, visually see their armors on them. Any more work for me, Becky? Derek borrowed a book of mine a while back. I'll pay 80 bucks if you can get it back for me. Okay, what, what kind of book? The book was a lavender flower. Derek should be over around Mom's on the east side. Here you go. Yeah, that was easy. Any more work? No. I'm sure there are lots of cool mods for this. Um, and while I did install the restoration project, I do want to sort of play it like as, as vanilla as possible. I know once I start looking at mods, I'll want to like install probably lots of stuff, assuming that you can install like multiple. But I'll I'll wait to save the modding rabbit hole for when I play Fallout 3 in New Vegas. You guys still won't talk to me, I don't think. Maybe not have Vicky, but... did I last save? When did I last save? Great. I hate you fall out. Uh, I don't think I... S Saved after this. Okay, let's go get Vic again. I did help the ghost girl. Uh, I have I have her diary still. I guess it's just garbage, and I can sell it or something now. Graveyard and everything. <sighs> yeah, that is very frustrating. I forget, that's Sharpened Spear. Sharpened Spear. It's 
after we equip Vic, let's save. Vic, you need radio. Here, here's a radio. Hey, Metzger. Dropping young lad. <laughs> All of the slaves at once talk. Let Vic out. stuff again. Here's a knife. give Becky her book yet either. I need to remember to do that too. I'm gonna sell this diary. Does it sell for anything? It does. Assuming I don't need a ghost diary. You know what? Let's keep it. It's a memento. Okay, this should be enough to get this armor. There's no reason to do that in this, right? That's what I had to do in Fallout 1. Um, because Ian always thought that I was like trading with him and wanted me to make equal values. But in this, it looks like I can just take things on and off of them through like the normal trade menu. Or as is it just quicker to go into the steel menu than to have to click on trade. Yeah, yeah, okay. That makes sense. Here's a book. Now we see. Things are back where they should be. Restored the timeline. Yeah. 
no longer friend. See, that's the guy. Uh, so I guess we need to haul ass to Vault City? I'm not looking forward to that. It's so far away. Like, we're just gonna get wrecked by every random encounter, I feel like. Maybe it's just the further south I go. I did try. You can't see it here because I died many times and ended up reloading. Uh, but I did try and go from Redding to New Reno, and that was a bad idea. I'm not sure. Maybe I can get to Vault City. Hello, Mr. Cast. How are you? Group of slavers? No. Slaves are on their own. I'm doing fantastic. Sad that the weekend is almost over. I should probably be fighting these random slaves just to uh, steal their loot and get some cash. Merchant. Okay, okay. Um, no, no, not that one. Hmm. Are you my new master? But even like just these regular merchants have slaves? Man boss, what? Oh, I'm talking to Vic. Mackle, talk to the boss. Where is the boss? Run away. Please set me free. Where is the boss? Am I blind? About the card. Oh, that is the boss. They just won't talk to me. Okay. Well, I was expecting it to be someone that actually like gave like opened a dialogue window. So I was just clicking and like hoping someone would have like an actual dialogue window. I want to trade. I guess that we could murder these people and free those slaves. Ah, hard to see between the trees, but is it, is it just two guards and a master? Let's save. I'm not doing anything without saving. take like the higher the chance of him catching me that's let's just say that's good enough <laughs> I'm pretty happy with that I'm just leaving it's like every five steps Is that guy holding an SMG? The Caravan Master?
So these... These caravan... This caravan's also slavers. Do we care who wins between bandits and these dudes? I don't think that we do. Oh, that, thank you, that is a good tip. Maybe we'll try and take out the bandits? I'm assuming the bandits will be hostile to me, but these guys hopefully won't. No, <laughs> yeah, I guess I could just watch from the sidelines. Assuming none of them run and fight me. As long as they don't kill the slaves. Yeah, I wouldn't want to mess with this caravan. Like, they're pretty geared up. Oh, I need to get my weapon out. So I'm going to keep that slot out. Let's run in and fight. Pretend to be helping. Oh no! Killed that evil man. There's only these two bandits. I don't know. It's boring just sitting there and doing nothing. That's honestly why. Maybe I'll just I'll just tag along right behind him so as soon as the combat ends, I can stab him. Yeah, now it's just one bandit. I'll kill him and ingratiate myself to these guards. Oh no! <laughs> Damn it, Silic. He gets himself killed here. I'm gonna be pissed. Look, do not stand right in front of the line of fire. How badly injured are you? He's almost dead already. So, look, like, move. these guys. Oh, we can give that rifle actually to Vic. Holy cow. Yes. No. What can I carry? This makes me want to just turn around and go right back to the den though to sell this stuff. I, mean, I could just leave the guards though. Hunting rifle. Sure, take this hunting rifle, dude. What ammo does it use? A 
should have probably looked first. And that's three ropes. You can hold on to my shovel. Not an extra combat knife. Oh, okay. So maybe... Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't look like they're aggroing on us, but... We could just walk off the screen this side. Yeah, let's just give them a wide berth, just in case. I don't actually want Sulik to... Oh, we didn't loot this corpse. Yeah, thank you. I would have definitely forgotten to do that. Sorry, slaves. You're on your own. Hopefully, I should have stopped and um, made sure everyone was healed. Let's let's just run. We'll stop in an empty cell and heal. Used up a healing powder. What? Oh. Oh, we looted this spot. Tall, powerfully built warrior stands before you. His eyes blaze with hatred as he looks over you. So, they cast out Kaga and they deem... You the chosen one? Ha! You think being the grandchild of the Vault Dweller makes you special? You think you're better than I, Kaga the Great? Who the hell are you? Um... Oh, okay. Um... Yeah, I'm not here for a fight. I still need to heal, bro. is wounded. Suluk is severely wounded. Oh. We'll probably have to reload, but that's fine. I'll try. I did not notice the rain. Very lucky, I'm not already dead. I'm dead. <laughs> I just want to heal up. Just want to loot this body. Maybe first aid on Super. That a thing. What? 
You're critically for 30 points. Jesus. I thought I was far enough away that they wouldn't care. I guess I should have put my weapon away. Oh, that guard is out of ammo. Well, one of them is at least. I'm so badly injured though. Um, I don't want to just waste a million stim packs. Hook is almost dead. Oh crap. Yeah. They're both out of ammo. That's actually not bad at all. They'll probably hit like a truck though with their punches. Maybe I should kill myself. for saving these slaves. <laughs> Those kicks. I love that kicking animation. Nearly wounded. Wounded. Let's take this guy out, if we can. Gotta be almost dead now. This guys are kind of trumps with their fists, so... Yeah, maybe this wasn't a horrible idea. And then we can heal here. Uh, it's just since I'm, um, yeah, I guess, I guess that does make sense if the enemy is melee. I just don't know if he'll follow me. He might go after Vic or Sulik. And I think Sulik's probably still pretty injured. Oh, okay, he did follow me. Oh, Vic, please don't shoot me accidentally. That's not horrible. I won't be able to hold all these rifles, though. What you be needing? Right, here's a rifle to hold on to. What do you? Maybe I won't give him a rifle. But I'm sure we will need to if we loot anything more. Oh, let's talk to the slaves. You're free! Now I'm your new master. You are, you're correct. Alright, I set him free. You're, you're free. Okay, I guess they'll... They'll understand later. Let's look, check in this tent. Hey, 
heal him yet? No, I still cannot heal you. Uh, but I might be able to first aid you. What number key is first aid? Five? How injured is he? What you be needing? He is at like half health. Let's save. Okay, we're still so far away from Vault City. I'm gonna end up like overburdened with random bandit gear by the time I get there. Oh, I have a better rifle I can give Vic then. Ooh. What ammo do these rifles use? Uh, 223. We don't have any of that. to do that I'm trying to go to yeah trade okay so he is blowing through that ammo even though it's a single shot pipe rifle as that's fine Oh, now we should save again. After that, we're healed. God, it's still so far away. I'm so tempted to just go back to the den and sell things. Let's keep going. Uh, hell no. Just another card. Oh. Oh, they have more slaves than the other one. Combat now. Hopefully, we can do this. Vic took a big hit. I think that we're dead. <laughs> we got too greedy. I should have just taken the stim pack. I don't even want the jet. I just figured it would sell for a decent amount. Weird, like the order that things are in here is like a strange order. Like I feel like these things should either be in some sort of like an alphabetical order or in the order that you're actually like expected to go visit them. Saga again. Oh no. 
know if we can do this. At least most of them seem to have melee weapons. Let's get up in Kaga's face. No, that's not Kaga. Who's Kaga? Oh, that was Kaga. Okay. Kaga has a gun, and one of the bandits has a gun. If I do like an aimed attack at his arm, can that make him drop his gun or something? Tempted to try. That didn't seem to do really much of it. Oh well. My death probably will be quick. I just don't think I can take that. I'm too... too weak. I need to heal myself. I don't have a choice. Oh, I had them equipped already. Oh, crap. What does Jet do in this? I wonder if it would be helpful for me to take some Jet. Have one spin back. I guess let's let's use it. Oh, I guess we still have one equipped. But I'm going to actually swap that out for a knife. Oh yeah, that's why that's why I've been avoiding doing any any of the drugs in these games. I don't know how addiction works in them. That's just gonna screw me over. I guess I can get lots of jet though from these merchant caravans. Let's stay behind this guy. And Kaga will accidentally kill him instead of me. Oh, I killed my meat shield. The darkness of the afterlife is all that awaits. Here goes another try. I just want to get fine. We will fight these. Won't be irradiated again, though. Oh, God. Need to not look around me. I did! I did save Smiley. And so I have fought a considerable number of these. Oh, I still have stem packs equipped. That's not helpful. I did not. I actually assumed that I just needed, like, a higher outdoorsman skill or something. I 
I don't want to have to go all the way back to Klamath. Okay, let's go all the way back to Klamath. This Vault City excursion isn't going too well. We'll go to Klamath, we'll learn how to skin them, and maybe we'll go south uh, to their hunting grounds and skin a whole bunch of them. Sell them, get some XP, and maybe be a little bit tougher when we come back here. What? No. I'm absolutely sick of all these random encounters already. Probably do this pretty easily, but I don't know. There's so many of these plants and they spit at you. Maybe we can sell all the rad scorpion tails for something. It looked like back in that toxic cave, there was also you know, a bunch of machinery that I couldn't use. Can they poison the companions? Do I have to worry about like giving them antidotes? Yeah, they're so heavy. We're really doing a number on old Vic. How injured is he? Severely wounded. Hopefully he'll run when it gets too bad. Why are you just standing there? Wait, were the scorpions and plants fighting each other? Or were they just missing? They're gonna kill him. Uh, I need to go heal him, I think. Okay, Vic. Got. I uh, can't get there. Why can't I get there? Oh, is he, like, body blocked in there by scorpions? Let's see. Oh, that sucks, Vic. No wonder he's just standing there taking it. Well, he's dead. Who will carry my burdens? I'm tempted to load again, but I've already like reloaded a million times. Part of me also feels like these older games were like made knowing that the players would be safe scumming. I don't know. Uh, 
I just don't want it to get to the point where it's like, well, this combat isn't going too well. Let me just reload and keep on trying to get the RNG on my side, you know? But yeah, I don't actually want Dick to be dead. Fuck. Yeah. Keep you alive, Vic. Oh. There was a point in Fallout 1 where Ian and Dogmeat died, and I just... I just gave up and just let them be dead, but... I'm sure there'll come a point in this game where I'll just have to live with someone dying, but... I didn't mean to go to the den. I guess I can sell stuff to Tubby, though. Now we'll go to Clan. What Tubs? Here. <laughs> Wait, we should actually go to uh, Psycho. Well, there's something here with like, um, Filch, I think, who has some decent armor. Let's, let's go get that armor off Filch. There's Izzy in here. Well, fuck me sideways, look who came by. The good Samaritan who saved the children decided to grace me with her presence. You know... Huh. You know, I'm a good Samaritan guy myself, providing for them little paisanos and all. That is until you came along and made that freaking orphanage idea reality. Little pianos, yep. Definitely. Uh, so he's pissed. No kids anymore, buddy. Oh, so is he gonna give me like a real shit deal now? If I want to buy from him? This, who? I want this. Probably take this too. Give me these. And this. Let's see if I can. If I have enough stuff to even do this. Oh, yeah, easy. Shotgun. Huh. Maybe we'll take this back. Okay, I didn't know that, uh, but I'm more worried, like, um, the NPCs have, like, does each individual NPC have, like, a different, I don't know, relationships stat or something with me that, like, this merchant likes me, so he'll sell to me for better prices, or this one doesn't like me. I don't know if that is the case. Like, I don't know if I'm getting maybe, like, a shit deal just because... He just said he hates my guts. I think we're getting old.
later. Not kick his ass. Oh, I guess if we kicked his ass, we could have just stolen his inventory. I didn't think about that. Vic, I need to get some stuff from you. Guess I'll let him keep the pipe rifle until he runs out of ammo for it. He still have a stem pack? He does. Then when he runs out of ammo for his pipe rifle, hopefully he'll switch to that hunting rifle and he has some ammo for it. What you be needing? Okay. You still have a stim pack. You still have some ammo. Here's more. Okay, he still has a healing powder. Sure, I guess that's all. I want these rataways. Oh. Tubby, sell me your rataway. And it's so expensive, but. Oh, jeez. I'm not gonna have enough. How much is this stuff? Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Maybe we take one right away. Yeah. We'll just try and be careful while fighting um golden geckos. I'll try and just not get in a position where I need the right away. I should save. Wait. Yeah, man, we didn't get very far to the Vault City at all. One gets attacked by Golden Gecko. Sure, why not? Let them just fight each other. I should probably take the time to equip my knife as well. Caves. Looks like a whole lot of nothing but pig rats. I think we're gonna hang out in this cave too long. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should tell Vic to not bother with his gun. Oh, true. Wait, are they not fighting the geckos anymore? Oh, I shouldn't have gone in the cave yet. I should have waited till the Banson geckos killed each other. Looted whatever was left. 
and then gone in the cave to do that. It's just a little bit injured. What are these geckos doing? Can't I can't let Sulek get gang banged. Damn it. Yeah, I'm sorry, Sulek. Please don't die. Let's just run back to that cave. I'm guessing I can't heal in this cave. That's fine. We'll take care of these. I'll try and do some first aid on Sulik. Pig rats, though. Hmm. Oh, they're mutated pig rats. Even better. Slightly. First aid skills so bad. Okay. That's as good as I can patch you up, Sulek. What you be needing? How are you? You still have like half health. You have the same amount of health as I do, Sulek. God. Well, it is XP. I guess this room has the fewest of them. Well, I thought so, at least. Uh, I did not know how many. I didn't know if it was a, a set number of uses or just like RNG to you can't do it anymore. Better get in here. They, they don't really even have eyes. I don't know what the most effective thing to aim for is. Hmm. 
Maybe I can't take these big rats out. I should should attack then move. Oh, I had to stand up. That's why I didn't have enough AP. Where the hell's Vic? Seriously, where is Vic? Okay, there he is. <laughs> what have you been doing, man? I probably shouldn't be doing these aimed attacks now with this strap. Let's just do a whole move. Otherwise, they'll kill me. So, look, why are you? Ah, oh, that's annoying. Why'd he run and fight those ones? Nice. Good job, Vic. Severely wounded, let's stab it. As long as it misses me or at least doesn't crit, we might be able to survive. There we go. Let's go help Sulek. Tanking all of them. Jeez. Wow. What well, closer we talk about? Oh, yeah, we still haven't picked one of these. Should have just picked a bonus move. Sure. That is actually very useful. I still won't be able to. Yeah. Huh, so. I don't think that we can take out these big rats without healing. I think if we walk outside, I'm going to be immediately killed. Okay, so what is rock gut? Very strong liquor or cleaning fluid. Okay, maybe I can use it to clean something then. Well, we do have some stim packs, let's just stim up. And I'll try and be a little bit smarter mean? about fighting these big rats. There's just so dang many of them. Let's aggro these hallway ones. Okay, 
back from here? Yes. Again, Vic, please do not accidentally shoot me. Welcome to the flood hammer. What you be needing? Okay, he's still using the sledgehammer. Why did he? I guess he didn't have enough AP, and so he just punched. Sure. I could tell him to use his SMG again. Then we'd probably just be able to walk outside and make easy work of those bandits, but. Vic, why are you running in there? <laughs> we won't wait here. Wait for him to come to us. Okay, I guess I'll have to run in there too. Uh, how annoying. Attic, are you really that hurt, Vic? Severely wounded. I didn't actually think Vic was that injured. Okay, I'm coming back, guys. He's not dead yet. Let's run back in here. So how bad is it, Vic? Need a doctor, boss. No, you're not that bad. Maybe we'll try and make a run for it out of the cell. Let's save in a different slot. Yeah, let's see if I can get out of here before they kill me. Dance on my grave. It'll be two more turns before I can actually get the exit. Feel like geckos don't aggro. Oh, this is fine. Oh, we were so close to Klamath. Okay, we made it. We even got some XP for killing some pig rats. Not that bad. I think I'll need to take another look at that um, car in the trapper area as well. 
if it has the actual part I need. So where the hell is um this guy going to be? Oh, Smiley. There he is. Sure will you for saving my hide. At least I can just teach you something in return. Oh, thanks, dude. Since those geckos nearly had my hide, let me teach you how to get theirs. Here's how you skin them. And when you kill them, you can get their hides and sell them, okay? Uh, thanks, dude. I will go practice. Always looking for some money. I actually have stuff to sell. Yeah, let's, uh, it's a bunch of drugs in town. We're getting new drug dealers. Tool and the crowbar. It was probably just garbage. I'll keep the crow. Like the crowbar is just a weapon, right? It doesn't have like utility uses. If like you won't ever need one to open something, right? I'll just I'll sell it. I can always buy it back later. I don't know even what a catch for magazine is. I saw that. It's fruit. Who needs fruit? Way too much. Cool. Let's hopefully go make all that money back. At least some of it back. Geckos. I have bad strength, so probably not gonna happen anyways. Who do we give this armor to? Suluk. Oh really? I just assumed it was useless since I couldn't read it. I've seen other merchants selling them. I can I can get it back pretty easily if I need it. What you be needing? Here's this. Use best armor. Oh, maybe I should be buying them whenever I see them then. Uh, what is he going to sell back to me for? <laughs> oh, eight bucks? Sure. Here. And I know uh, there's at least one back in the den. It's not like it's even worth much to sell it, so. This. This is a crib, right? Okay, it's gecko hunting time. 
Let's hunt a couple of normal ones first. Whoa, shooting from all the way over there, Vic? <laughs> is it running away or is it trying to run to Vic? Like it's just running away. Aw, that skin's kind of cute. Okay, before we waste a bunch of time here, let's see how much those actually sell for. And see if we should even bother with normal geckos or just golden ones. I'm sure the golden pelts sell for a decent amount. $25? Okay, that's actually not horrible. I'd miss this dog. You don't seem to be too popular in this part of town. What? I think that's a lie. Which, no. Not my fifth boy. I'm idolized in Klamath. Everyone in this area would like to be me. I'm the toast of the town. But I'm not too popular. Well, screw you, buddy. You love me here. Just because the Duntons go to that bar. just wasting ammo at this point. Oh, look, little gecko's good. Not killed in the trees because it's a real pain to find the bodies. Gecko missed twice. Awesome. Okay, we hit him in the eyes. Now we move away. Well, I did knock the stuffing out of him. We're chasing the gecko. I yeah. <laughs> Damn it. Well I mean I didn't attack the gecko first. I just walked up to it. Like what counts as starting the combat? I guess that's not what I'm that's what I'm not understanding. Because regardless of what I do, it seems like they always are the ones that initiate the combat.
I'm gonna grab both their skins. The golden gecko pelt isn't as cool looking. Uh, gecko, you're barely on the screen. So I should get a bonus turn. I'm gonna use all of my AP up. Oh, he's really he's out of range. How's it out of range? The spear has a range. And now it is my turn again. Okay, yeah, that is how it works. Uh, but I can't even see the gecko I'm fighting. So I'm wasting this bonus turn anyways, walking away. Because I'm on the edge of the screen. Oh, what happened? Did Suet kill it off screen? I guess we won't be getting that pelt. Turn, just going hog wild on him. Well, we killed it too quick. Yeah, I do have to get you set, I guess. Well, you're talking to someone who slept with a slaver for $500. Doesn't take that many gecko hides to make that five hundred dollars back. I'm going to clear the geckos out from this entire area. I want all of their pelts. I just don't know how much the uh, the golden sell for. Yeah, 20 pellets doesn't seem like a lot. I mean, there aren't that many geckos on the screen, but... I should go back to the toxic cave and kill all the geckos that are there. Cause I'll be honest, I don't think I actually killed any geckos when I went there. Yes, the spear though it just seems like does so much more damage, and it has that reach. And maybe now that I have this bonus move, the reach doesn't matter as much. I kept getting to like a lot of positions where I'd make an attack and it would knock the opponent away like a hex, and then I'd have to like waste movement with the knife to get back to them in, in range. 
But yeah, with the bonus move, it, it probably doesn't make a lot of sense anymore. Wait, what is that on the floor? Is that just more wood? Oh yeah, it's just firewood we left. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll even want to use the super sledge. It's probably a two-handed weapon, isn't it? I think I want to stick with one hand. Actually, is the spear one-handed? I'm assuming it is because it seems like a short spear, but... Is it? Uh, as long as when I wield it, it looks like I'm doing it in one hand, but... Like I'm holding it in one hand right now, but maybe it, maybe it is a two-hand weapon. I guess I don't know. I probably should be using a knife for sure if if it is two-handed. small gecko here, it looks like. Come to me, little gecko friend. I just want your skin. Yeah, let's see how we do with just the knife. They didn't really give me a chance. I guess I just I just made an assumption because everyone seems to like stand around like visibly holding the spear in one hand. I think maybe the attack animation does maybe have you put that second hand on it. Yeah, we've already made back that 500 bucks. Of course, he doesn't have that much money, but... How are these? Whoa, those are very expensive throwing knives. Does the throwing knife get used up when you throw it? I haven't thrown anything. But Vic said he can throw things. Like, if I give him four throwing knives, is that just four attacks and then they're all gone? That seems like a total ripoff. If that is the case. Let's keep our pups to ourselves till we find a, a wealthier merchant. Give me give me all your money, dude. Maybe I should get him a throwing knife then. I'm not going to be throwing it. There. What does one throwing knife cost? For sure.
I'll give him a throne knife and just see how that works out. That way, when he's out of uh, ammo, he can he can throw that. Oh, he already is using up the. Okay, let's take this back then. Uh, so he's he's really going to clear through all of that two two three very quickly. He actually really doesn't seem very helpful. Two hundred dollars. We'll just hold on to the rifle. Make sure I'm not radiated. Oh, I am radiated. Maybe I need that right away. I mean, no, we will. We will. We'll ignore the radiation for now. Get off and get some lunch now. I don't feel like I've accomplished a whole lot. Okay, we still have plenty of geckos in here to kill. Put that there just in case. <laughs> He's still running away from me. Oh, okay. Wait, so. He's unhurt, but has crippled them still. So I guess he's still maybe blind from when I hit him? That's hilarious. No, don't go in here! Fuck! Stop it, Sulik. Stop it. Okay, this was a bad idea. I didn't have Sulik when I came here before. I didn't realize that he's an idiot. No, we're leaving, Sulik. GTFO. I'm not going to have you traipsing through all of the the freaking slime goo. So probably every gecko in this area is blind still then. That's fantastic. Cause yeah, that's what I did. I went in there and I just aimed for the eyes and then blinded them and they would just run away. And um and I didn't kill any of the geckos in there. I killed like maybe maybe one gecko in there. So there's still a bunch of geckos to skin. But I am going to go get some lunch. Gecko genocide. Well, it made it very easy to save Smiley. Because um, I'd just go in there, like, hit the gecko once, and they would just run away from me. I think it was supposed to be much more challenging than it was. Yeah, I've saved. I'm gonna go get some lunch. Thanks for giving me some tips and just hanging out. It's been cool. I am loving this game. It's, uh, it's very neat to go back and play, play these older Fallouts after playing Fallout 4, so... Peace out. <laughs> Thanks. I still don't know what I'm going to eat, but I have to find something.
Time to time to scrounge. <laughs> Later. <laughs>